there's a there's a beautiful story about how Saudi Arabia is building AI refineries and how building AI fact or oil refineries to AI factories. I love that. Uh, you know, I, I've said that that AI is an infrastructure, and the reason for that, of course, we understand AI from the perspective of the technology and how it's revolutionizing every industry. Digital intelligence, of course, has applications into every every field. And so it's going to be used by every company, every industry, every country. In that way, it's foundational, and therefore it's part of infrastructure. What is new about AI from a computer science perspective is that the way computing was done in the past was largely retrieval-based computing. Mm -hmm. Somebody typed in a story or somebody created a, a piece of art or came, came up with four versions of a digital ad or... It's all pre-built by somebody, which is then using a system to retrieve the appropriate version for you. It's a retrieval-based computing model. Hadoop and many of the, the, the frameworks and operating systems of the past are all designed to retrieve the appropriate information for you. But today, software is going to be generated in real time. It's generative based on the context, based on the circumstance, based on who you are, based on the problem you asked, it, based on your prompt, it will generate unique content for you. Every single time for everybody, it's unique. When you use Grok, every time you use it is different. You all based love on Grok. The, right, based on, based, on the, based on the prompt that you give it and based on the circumstance. And, and so therefore, it used to be retrieval-based. Today, it's generative. And if it's generative, then and every time is different, then you need AI factories all over the world to generate the content in real time, which is the reason why you need AI factories.